Recorded live at PRS View Studios in Chicago, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Rorick. I'm here with a board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Scott Glassberg, who's a, who's a leader in plastic surgery and, and a key opinion leader for all of us. And he's also past president of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Dr. Glassberg, tell us about the concerns about breast implants and this disease called ALCL. So I think uh, it's important for patients to know that it is a real entity, um, something that we've just seen sort of flourish in the last uh, five to ten years, uh, probably because we're just sort of starting to understand it. Uh, I think the key is it's potential and it's rare. So uh, while patients need to know about it as part of the consent process, I think they also need to understand that it is rare. Um, sure. Generally, it's been mostly associated with textured implants. Saline and silicone don't really make a difference. Um, it, it's been seen in both. Um, and surgeons like to use textured implants because they are beneficial uh, to patients. They tend to hold the implant in place a little bit better. Uh, perhaps there's a little bit less capture contracture associated with these implants. And the shape uh, is something that patients desire. So given all of that and the fact that this is a rare entity, I think patients need to be aware of it. Um, patients need to understand that it's an entity. Patients need to understand if there's any change in their breast whatsoever, especially uh, swelling on one side they should immediately contact their plastic surgeon who will then, you know, put them through a regimen of trying to figure out, you know, if, if, is there a problem at hand. That's right. And, uh, and all of this is obviously part of the informed consent that you can obtain from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons uh, as part of every patient that's undergoing breast augmentation. Thank you very much, Dr. Glassberg, for joining us and giving us that excellent opinion. Thank you for having me.